this week on the Hoover Boys. I'm coming, buddy. I'm blinding myself right now. Trying to walk in corn stubble. Well, I almost made it to the truck. Big Mark finally has a coin. Maybe not. Dude. Possible? Dude, cob? I think I think that's a cob. Yeah? Dude, I think that's a cob. You want a real cob? I hope so. Oh, that'd be nice. Hopefully, you guys saw last week's episode, because this episode is a continuation of that hunt. We are one of the earliest sites we have ever had the honor to treasure hunt in the United States. It's an old port slash landing site on a river that dates back to the 1600s, and we found coins there that date back to the 1500s, if you can believe that. That's actually in episode 208, 208 of the Hoover Boys, if you want to go back and check out that episode. But this week's episode is continuing to last week. We were finding a whole bunch of colonial coins, coppers, silvers, Spanish silvers, uh, buttons, buckles in the mix. I think our friend Mark found a clad half dollar. Congratulations, brother. Yay. 50 cents richer. That's uh -huh. taco money. That's definitely half a taco. <laughs> <laughs> but it was Brad, Andy Coop, The Boots, Billy, and myself and uh let's just get right into it we're definitely finding some older relics i'm talking like lead buttons pewter buttons tomback buttons this was a 40 signal you got to dig these kind of signals at these old places i was not expecting it to be this big big old piece of shoe buckle frame massive piece of buckle frame that is awesome Nice early colonial relic right there. Saving history today. No design. This person wasn't flexing. Nice. 86, 87 for me. 86, 87. It was an 84 on the max. It was a 28 on the Knox. That's definitely a coin. Oh, I'm gonna grab it. Oh. Don't. We're just going right toward it. We're seeing it, John. Ugh. Brad, how, how am I doing, Brad? Horrible. Am I gonna Brad it? More angle on your shovel, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got it. The button deep. 84. 84. Come on, Billy. Oh, Billy. Clad. Can you believe it? Yeah, probably. That ain't taco money. <laughs> Colonial taco money. Uh, was it sun bacon? Yeah. There it is. Kappa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kappa. That's a little one. Yeah. Nah, not yeah, a half cent. That's Nova. VA half any. Nova? You gonna rub on it? <laughs> Told me to whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you're whipping it all around. I couldn't couldn't, couldn't track you quick enough. What do you got there? I can't. Why you got the... We're gonna, we're gonna ID it. We're gonna get out the sandpaper or All something. Right, well, come on, get, the, get out the sandpaper. Bring out that 80 grid. I'm really sad that there's no details on this one because it's like all clipped and misshaped looking and it's smooth. No doubt a very early copper coin of some sort, but we'll probably never know. Put it over here. Oh, yeah. Look at Billy. Killing it, buddy. Mm -hmm. Killing it. Buckle frame, brass piece of stuff. Deep target. The uh, Chintzy uh, Mine Lab got on, got on something deep. Yeah? You got a DP for once? Got a ton of Purdue. Yeah. I plucked it out. Probe depth. Very good. How'd it sound? There he blows. Uh, like deep potential. Looks like KG2 early head. Deucer. Is it the early? It, I, I'm pretty sure it's the early head. I got the late head earlier. And you already have a one, so you need a three for the King George trifecta. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd yeah. be nice. We haven't done that in a minute. That's tough worth a pound good job thanks man yeah well, i'm glad we came over here we're working the front field and we're trying all the high spots and low spots we saw this little mound here i know it's not much of a mound but in this area it is it's a mound to me andy just popped the copper and i just popped the copper and there's some light iron in here so we might be onto something did not say like a copper but that's a copper Eh, a farm field copper. Let me clean this up and we'll go look at Andy's. I hope yours is better than mine's is. 
Not that much. <laughs> no. Mm, well, yeah. they're great indicators. We're gonna take one more signal out of here, and if the iron continues, we'll call the other guys and tell them to get their tushies. Tushies over here. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> We'll get through it later. There's so much in here. Well, unfortunately, our little spot over there where we popped the coppers, there was nothing. Oh, Andy did get a really fancy piece of a more colonial shoe buckle, but nothing else over there. So we came back to where Muck is working in the iron. And he's got some things. Let me take a, just a quick peep in your box. Yeah. A box. Bunch of stuff. Whole bunch of stuff. He's got something really nice in yeah. his hand. He wants to show us though. <laughs> You! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got a couple pieces uh -huh. of spectacle buckle earlier, but that is a beautiful example yeah. right there, brother. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. I have not found one that has that kind of nice design on it. I've found a few, but nothing that nice. Yeah, that's 1600s all day long. Yes, yeah, sir. Where do you want it? Anywhere you want. The computer, that works. You got a nice box of stuff and things. Oh, yeah. Been working hard. Yes, no, sir. no coins. No coins. Yeah, gone. Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. Something's going on here. I think I got one. Yeah. Yeah. What we're looking for? I, think I got one. That's a cob. Oh, it's a cob. Is that a? That's a cut cob. It's not even a. It's a quarter real. Good beep, dude. Yeah, thank you. Is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's 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 a quarter on real or quarter half. No, no doubt about it. It's a cob. Also, yep. Make sure that was a yeah. Let's make sure it's in a fresh. No, it's it's not fresh, dude. We knew they were here. Isn't that cool. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Oh yes. Anything on this side? Cover up. Hey, wasn't Andy just saying that earlier? Huh? You got yourself a cut piece of Spanish cob. Tiny little guy. Is that your first cut? Uh, a, it, it's yeah. It's a it, half it, real it, cut in half. It's so yeah, that, that is what it is. So it, it's a it is a quarter real. Quarter real. Who makes change, wow. change out of a half real? What did they buy to have to make change out of a half real? Oh man, Talk dude, it. that is awesome. How cool is that, pirate treasure, Bob? Where the heck are you today? Pirate treasure. Just took us all day to find it. What a beep. Yeah, that's uh, definitely not a new cut. What yeah. a beep. Congrats. Boom. That's thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Damn. Oh, down she goes. I've explained what a cob is in previous episodes of the Hoover Boys, but we still get questions asked about them. And just to refresh everyone's memories, I'm actually going to take a cut from episode 185 of the Hoover Boys, a little episode we like to call Pirate Treasure, and cut. As silver deposits were discovered in Spanish colonies, there was pressing demands to get that silver to Spain as quickly as possible. To do so, the mint started to produce irregular shaped coins called cobs. Rather than rolling out a bar of silver into sheets and cutting round plancets to be milled and stamped into coins, a bar of silver was simply cut into chunks of appropriate weight and were hammer struck between two crude dies and an anvil. The Spanish word cabo, which the English word cob is derived, refers to the end. In this instance, a clump of silver off the end of the bar. Cobs are considered treasure coins. When you think of shipwrecks and pirates, these were the coins that were on those vessels. These coins do not come up often. In all of our years, all of us together have only found a few of them. That's what makes them so special. And how cool is it to go home to your wife, your significant other, your friends, and be like, look, I actually found pirate treasure. Pretty cool if you ask me. Anytime you find a hammered coin in the United States, it's pretty special. Congratulations to Brad. And on with the show. Spanish? It might be. Unfortunately, Brad and Andy got to get out of here. So get out of the he doesn't. They don't know what what Brad found. You pulled or I pulled? I don't know. You might want to see their faces though. Am I pulling or go, you pulling? Go ahead, pick it up there. Oh! <laughs> you got cut? Yeah, cut cob. Oh! Cut cob. See, yeah. at least you got an actual yeah, cut. It's a it's see a it. half real. Cut to a quarter. Well, see, we can call that's that a, a cut cob. Cut cob. Let me see your Down other stuff. Yeah. Since you're leaving. Yeah, gotta go. Got the fancy. Oh yeah. I don't know if you got that on film. That's silver. Got a silver colonial. Colonial button. Yeah. And then here. A couple two. coppers. Yeah. Some buttons. Is that all the buttons? That's I didn't get a lot of buttons and then that thing. Oh yeah. Oh and all that. 
No, okay. Flim flam, kind of stogo. A lot of old stuff. Musk Anybody? Bees. I got six Is that Wheaties. Indian? Six Wheaties? Yeah, I got six where, Wheaties. Where were you hunting? They were all over, man. I, I got the horseshoe crab doodad. Did you get anything in that patch way back over there mm. where you were working? No. no. Check out this beautiful no, green. Really. You could dig a little piece of silver uh, spoon handle or something. Yeah. Boy, did that look. It's got monogram on it. Tasty. Coming out of the ground. Nice piece of shoe buckle with some extra fancy. I got a beautiful. And, Beautiful greeny here. That, it's gonna make you jealous of all the greenies. Look how green that is, but look. <laughs> Whoa, that's not cool. It's a great well, old site. Congratulations maybe, uh, on the cob and everything. You guys get home safe. Thanks, buddy. We're gonna putz around for maybe another half an hour or so. Sun's going down quick. Oh yeah. Hopefully Muck will invite us back. <laughs> not after that, cut. Sixteen hundred oh, property. Money and run. Ah! <laughs> take your money and run. Oh, <laughs> Muck's still looking for a coin. You'll get one, buddy. Uh, you don't have a copper yet, huh? <laughs> I know I've said this a few times a day, but I wasn't expecting to see that. <laughs> Not even a high turn, a mid turn. Oop! Well, there's the impression. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There it is. You don't have a copper muck. Low beeping copper. The old kind. Oh, another farm field variety. Nothing on it. We'll wash away. Bill's got a surface 88 oh. signal. There it is. Cool. The copper, buddy. Man. <laughs> We're about to get out of here. Right here in the iron patch. Uh. Told you to get that little coal out and play. Oh, Maxine, yep. thank you. Bring it Whatever up to you, you buddy. That was beeping oh, all the way nice. high. Hey, it's got a bust on it. Turn my light on. It's gonna be a US yeah. That's a high beeping. Oh, maybe it's Connecticut. Oh. That'd be good. No, nah, KG2. Is it? Yep, KG2 early head. That's a that's the nicest one of the day, yeah, though. There you go. Yep. Yeah, get a little finger yeah, on get it. A little smoothie on it. Good job, Billy. Hey, man, that little coil I should have brought out earlier. I'm sorry, Maxine. Yep, KG2 early head, yeah. buddy. We'll be doing a wrap up shortly. I'll put it in there all by itself. Good job, Billy. It's almost dark. The sun is gone. You a copper copper, buddy? Oh yeah, it's another copper. <laughs> up here in the air. Oh, that's a button. Yeah, it's a, it's a button. button. Who cares? Still a nice town back. Heck yeah. Old stuff. Huh? Ow. Corn stalk. Uh, well, I'm trying to get back to the truck so we can do a wrap up. I don't know Bill may just found something incredible. I might be wrong, but I mean, it, it, hold on, let me focus in. Dude, I have Please be one. one. Please. Look at this thing. It's got to be a kettle point. Oh, dude, it, it, I'm telling you. I don't, I don't know. It could be anything. It's bowed out. Oh, dude. You ever seen anything like Mark. that, Muck? No, sir. It's not like the kettle points that I saw, but it does feel know. like it's I mean, made it, out it's of a just, kettle. You know what I'm saying? It certainly looks like an arrowhead. I don't know what they look like, but that would be like close enough for me. Yeah. Tail on the end where you put the, you know, the shaft and... I would call it a kettle point. Uh, I'm going to hold on to it. I mean, that, that, that looks like a true kettle point, too, like made of a, from a kettle. Bro. That's awesome, Billy. <laughs> You've had a metal arrowhead. Uh, I... Uh. I'm hoping. I mean, there, there has to be native here. Oh, grass, bro. That's cool, dude. Uh, I'm, I'm like, let's just get that. Oh, one. thanks, buddy. <laughs> let's get the headlamps on. <laughs> let's get the headlamps on. <laughs> now, I'm coming, buddy. I'm blinding myself right now. I'm trying to walk in corn stubble. Oh, I almost made it to the truck. Big Mark finally has a coin. Maybe not. I think it's bright. Sounded like silver, but. <gasps> okay. Dude, possible? Dude, cob? I think I think that's a cob. Yeah. Dude, I think that's a cob. A one real cob? I hope so. Oh, that'd be nice. Maybe a two real cob. I don't know. Be a cob. That's a cob, awesome. dude. Yeah, dude, bro. that's a cob. Yeah. That's a big one. Uh, see, I skipped on the coins till the end of the day. Holy <laughs> crap, dude. Holy crap. Here, let's try the other side. Maybe you got to be kidding me. I got the cap in my mouth. <laughs> Yummy. Dude, that's incredible. See some details on this side. I see oh, something. Yeah, that's cross right there. Holy crap. Yeah, man. Holy crap, dude. How about that? Let's finish cleaning that up. I got to do a real close up. 
Oh man, that's a 1600s cob too. Awesome. <laughs> you, dude. Thank you. Dude, you got a big cob. Big cob. Hey Billy, big cobby. I saw it flip over. I was like, it was dark. Oh. Dude, this is incredible. That yeah. definitely looked like a coin. Sounds I mean, like I'm a coin. guess it, it's bigger than your typical one real. It might be a two real. You'd probably have to weigh it. I mean, it is thicker. It's by weight. Look at that cross on there. Talk about pirate treasure. <laughs> it's got to be 1600s, man. I mean, how tiny his his half real cob was. You should be able to get the markings off of it. To tell exactly the year and denomination and all. Oh yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> this is the hammered silver farm. Yes, sir. Without a doubt. Huge yes. congratulations. Thank you. That's three that, of them. That's today. definitely bigger than your, the other cob that you pulled out of the it water is a lot with bigger. That's absolutely incredible. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Get it done. All three of us to church. Yeah. What are you trying to say? I, I can't find silver? I, I silvered out two days ago. over to the truck. That's my, as my, far as you got to get it. <laughs> it's hard to leave right now. I know. What a day. Is, it, is there going to be a full moon? What a day. No, it's definitely not a full moon. Well, I guess it's a good thing that uh, Brad and Andy got out of here because there's no more room on the board. <laughs> we took a lot of signals today. I mean, holy cow. There's most of the junk. You might need a Ford emblem. No. And so look at that. Look at that. This will do me first. So my pile of little lead and pewtery things. I need to get a thimble there at the end. Spoon handle. I believe that's a big musket ball up there. Get one little piece of clad. Three hunks of shoe buckle frame. A couple of them are really fancy. I think get an old brass ring and a saddle strap guide. Little pieces of spectacle buckle and other little shoe buckle pieces. Some of my old buttons. You can see the lead ones and the pewter ones and the fancy ones. Anybody have a clue on that little thing there? Interesting. I got four coppers. I believe this one's going to be a King George II. That's a large scent, and that's no doubt KG2. Billy Boy? You got a hook? You got a, yeah, you did get a hook. It looks like Forged USA. You got, a drawer, you got drawers pulled. You got some Tomback buttons and stuff. Big dandy button. There's that thing we best guess is a kettle point of some sort but could Let be could be making it up let's see a fancy silver plated rosette you got a uh, copper up there could be a hammered copper no doubt King George II there you got a Merc and a tiny little slither of burnt half real non hammered variety Mark dug so many signals <laughs> in that iron patch <laughs> I mean, there's just a mess load of little copper spoon pieces and pewter stuff and lead. And What's up with this clad half dollar, bro? Look at all that taco money you got. <laughs> so many little buttons and to tombacks and broken pieces of stuff and things. So cool. Shoe buckle pieces, piece of a curdle bell, a tiny little D. Nice musket ball there. But he got a complete spectacle buckle. And a big old fat hammered silver Spanish coin. Look at that cob. Probably a one, maybe a two. Amazing nonetheless. What a day. And until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Why, Billy? Because all holes matter. Yes, sir. These two definitely did. Seventy nine eighty. Seventy nine eighty. I got a decent signal marked over there. Show me a big copper, Billy. What is that? A big bullet? Yeah. That's not cool. Is that what that is? That's a big bullet. Yeah. Big copper jacketed bullet. Yeah. Well, they do hunt here, so that makes sense. Yeah. So and Billy and I are digging copper jacketed forty-five bullets in here. This is definitely not one of them.
is an 85, which is a clad quarter, but it's also a big copper. But well, we are in 2020. Don't be a clad quarter. Don't be a clad quarter. I think I see it. It's a bigger bullet. No. We have not found one that big yet. No. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Yeah. Where's my hat for you? Oh, oh look, it's, it's got silver color. Oh, casing. Ribbit. It's just small and tight. What are you going to do? <laughs> it's a nice coin signal right there. Come on. This is where my first copper came up today, this iron patch. Oh, oh. is that a big silver? Mm. Is that a big silver? Oh, what, what is, is going on there? What? Oh, it's a deep pull tab. No. Oh, my goodness. And it's all black stained, like deep silver. 2020 strikes again. I at least wanted some taco money. No, you don't You don't deserve taco money. I missed. That would hurt. Uh. That would cut me deep. 